So the uh, uh, so what I could imagine that dancers would be you could start out by just laying dancers out end to end on the floor head to foot head to foot head to foot end to end on the floor you know head to foot head to foot head to foot you could start out by just laying dancers out laying dancers laying dancers out end to end on the floor you know head to foot head to foot head to foot um one of the things it's the genome shuffle okay if you will, if you want to put it to a dance, because if you look, when we reconstructed the ancestor, you see all of the mammalian genomes. If you look, when we reconstructed the ancestor, you see all of the mammalian genomes are basically just reshuffled pieces of this same ancestral genome. We're all very similar. We're all very similar. Head to foot, head to foot. We're all very similar. Head to foot, head to foot. We're all very similar. Head to foot, head to foot. Head to foot, head to foot. So, uh, so you could imagine that the dancers would initially form themselves into these secondary structures. In the shuffle, in the genome shuffle, the evolutionary genome shuffle, you can have an inversion. Right? 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 So that means that, say, if I was a chromosome, I could break it my foot and have my foot be my knee. But it would still be the same chromosome, but that's an inversion. The neck does, like the head would, is would, like the would be drawn into the, uh, right? the, feet uh, be to the right the juxtaposition. The and if you were so doing the dance, the, very often, probably a lot of dancers the other really major, major one is a complete stage. That's where my foot to uh, but goes it, off, it, and then it, another it chromosome sort of sticks on by that chromosome. Another, another maybe where they might break another, their waist. Maybe there's a reciprocal translocation. Those are the stable uh, ones where somebody else's foot goes on my foot. Get all your chromosomes. You got it? You got it?